Hi everyone, this is Paula from Thrifty Paula. Um, today I am back with the Dollar Tree haul. It's a small haul. I'm also going to show you some pieces of jewelry that I have made. I know this is random, but um, I thought, you know, I made it. I thought it looked pretty good. Um, and I had done it before. It's with the Paula Merclay. I don't know if I mentioned that before that um, I was going to try that. And so I said after I did it, I was going to show you what it looked like. And so not only the Paula Merclay, I've also done some wood pieces with decorative paper. So I'm going to show you a few of those um, first, and then I'm going to get into the Dollar Tree haul. There's a few new items from the Dollar Tree haul. Um, I should say new to me. And then just some um, a few repeats. So it's not going to be a long haul, um, but I thought... Let me go ahead and show it instead of keeping it in the bags, and then I could just put it away. So, um, they are still in bags, so you'll hear, so, hear uh, some rattling, so I'm sorry for that. And um, if I look tired and haggard, it's because I am. My um, niece is having a, or, well, I'm giving my niece a bridal shower tomorrow. So, I'm running around doing things for that, trying to finalize everything for that, and pack the car. So... I am tired, um, but I thought, well, let me take a break, do this haul, so I could at least have some sort of organization and put this these items up. So, um, okay, enough rambling. Thank you all for coming back. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy what you see. Um, I hope you feel excited about what you see, and please leave me comments uh, about the jewelry um, because it is my first time doing it, and I'm going to try to take it to a little market here where I live and sell it. So please let me know comments on that and what you think. Um, please, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe um, and like the video. That would help me. And if you are subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back. So I'm going to turn you around, and let's get started. So here are some pieces of um, the jewelry. I'm going to show you that first. So this is uh, one piece, and this is wood. It's on wood. I'll show you the back, and I've just painted. Uh, no, it's not painted, but it's uh, another piece of paper that corresponds with the colors that's on the front. My lighting is not the best here. So that's the back. And this is the front piece. And this is just decorative paper on the little wood piece for jewelry. And I added a bead that also corresponds with the colors. So that's one piece. Of course, it's a pair. And, you know, I'm only going to show you one. No need to... Bring out both of them. So that's on wood and let me see. This is another piece that is on wood and it's just the decorative paper. This has glitter on it. And I colored the back and put glitter on the back. So that's that piece. And then the other wood piece is in a teardrop shape and it is also with decorative paper so it's teardrop shape with decorative paper and um, I did paper also on the back so that's that one in a teardrop shape and they're all on those are all on wood pieces now I have some clay pieces and so what I did with the clay I just put several different colors together, mashed them all together, and made the little clay pieces. Here I put some uh, pieces of gold foil on it. So that's one. It's different uh, sizes of circles. So it's one earring of the clay. And then this is another one, if it will focus. And then the back is same corresponding colors. Um, let's see. 
And I think I have, let me see, two more of the clay. Here's another piece. This is the back of the earring. And then this is the front of the earring. And one last earring. And all I did was add a bead to it in the corresponding color. So that's all with the earrings. So I just wanted to let you see what I've done with the clay earrings. And then once I saw the clay, I also saw the wood pieces. Um, and I like the wood pieces. So I thought, well, let me see what I could do with that. The wood pieces and the um, decorative paper. So please let me know what you think about those pieces. And now I'll go on with the actual haul from Dollar Tree. I saw someone else haul this, and so this is the first time I saw it at my store, so I thought I'd try it. Um, this was in the garden section, but I'm going to use it for, like, my mops and my brooms, and it is um, just little pieces. You can stick your broom handles in between here, these two sides, and then in the middle, it's a hook, and so this is what it looks like they have in the um, description. They've got a rake, a shovel, and a, a hoe, I guess that would it is in the middle. I don't know. But I'm not going to use it for that. I'm going to use it in my kitchen. I'm going to try to attach it to my pantry door, on the inside of my pantry door, and see how that works <clears throat> for my broom. I got some glue from the Crafter Square. I hope uh, what I got it for is for material. Um, to stick material. I want to do some on the wood pieces for the jewelry. And I have some um, material that I want to put on it. So I'm hoping this glue, um, I hope this glue will work. I didn't find any actual fabric glue, but hopefully this will work. So we'll see. That was in Crafters Square. And this is just some clear finishing um, tape that I got. Nothing special. That's all that is. That's by Jot. These are actually good writing pens. They're the stylus pens. So they have the stylus piece at the, back, at the um, bottom of it for your computer or for your phone or whatever. But these are actually good writing pens. And as you can see in the picture, this piece here at the top, um, you can use it to hold your phone, which is pretty neat. I don't know if you can see it. Um, on the side, how it is. Let me take one out. Let me take it out. You can see it better that way. how this piece hooks here and all you do is just set your phone here and it cradles it so just like it shows in um in this picture see it cradles your phone and they're like i said they're actually good writing pens as well so i got two of these I saw these little travel packs, like a first aid kit travel pack, and it has alcohol swab, uh, swab in it, and then it has different size band-aids. So it's 15 items in here. If you hear something running in the background, it's just my cat playing. And she's running back and forth. So I got three of those travel packs. And um, I don't know if you all watch like the people that are are preppers and um, um, they keep talking about like 
the shortages we're going to have and like the delays in um, shipment of goods and stuff. And then since the war, um, there's going to be so many shortages of things coming because, it, you know, with the transportation and everything. So I have, and then with me wa uh, being a Walking Dead fan, I had started a uh, to-go bag, which is a bag with all essential items. Um, it has, um, like, medicines in it, has flashlights, has, like, um, knives, scissors, um, it has twine in it, um, oh, what is that, has tar, has a tarp in it, um, has socks, just all kinds of different stuff that if something happens, whether it's a natural, natural disaster like flood or hurricane, tornado, whatever, or the apocalypse, <laughs> zombie apocalypse, or something like that happens. It's a to-go bag, and so that's what I bought these um these for. And I've got some other little first aid kits, but uh, so that's what I bought those for. And also, I bought this flashlight for that. It has a really bright light to it. Um, so I brought. I've got a couple of these little flashlights to go in my to-go bag. So, I know that sounds silly and crazy, but nothing happens that's, you know, will be great. But if something does happen, then I have my to-go bag. And I won't be sorry I did it. First time I've seen, um, I've seen like, I've had Captain Crunch and different kind of little um, small pack cereals. I, first time I've seen the Cheerios, so I got two packs of those. And this is a 2.2 ounce container of Cheerios. And I'm looking for the expiration. The expiration is November of this year, November 2022. So I got two of these. Things like this also with a long expiration date can also go in your to-go bag. Just saying. Um, I got a small container of the Frank Red Hot Sauce. Can't beat that. This is the first time I've seen the actual Betty Crocker Bisquick. So I only got one of these. This is the Cheese and Garlic Bisquick. All you have to do is add water and make your little cheese and garlic biscuits. Um, and it says it makes six biscuits. So I haven't seen that before, first time. And so I got it to try it. So I also got some snacks, a Snickers bar, and a Mr. Good, uh, I mean, not Mr. Good bar, a Snickers and a Baby Ruth bar. That is to quench my chocolate fix. When I want something chocolate, I'll have it here. What else I got? Again, some repeat buys. I got uh, about four of these. This is this is the Icelandic glacial uh, water, and this is 16 fluid ounces. So I've got about four of those. I love these. These are the little um, Unstoppables. I got the Downy Unstoppable and then the Downy Fresh. And then I got the Gain. This is all to put in your washer. Um, and this is a 1.37 ounce container. And I got, I think I got four of each. Four of each of these. And I got three of these. I take these to work and put them in the, our stalls. We have three stalls at work. And so I just see when I see them, I get one each of the lemon scent of the um, little toilet bowl sprays. It's like a the poopery. But this is only now $1.25. So I got three of those. And I got a pink amber poppy. Um what is it? Little diffuser. And the uh, fragrance is the pink amber poppy. And I 
gotten this before, and it does have a good scent to be a dollar twenty-five. So I just got one of them this time. So let's see. I've heard this was very good, and when I saw it, I thought I'd try it. This was, of course, now, you know, Dollar Tree is more than a dollar. So this was $5, and this is the Dawn Platinum Power Wash. And so I've heard people talk about how good it is for, you know, you can use it on your stove. They use it on the countertops as well as to use it to wash dishes. So I got two of these to try. You know, Dawn's a good product anyway. And that's what I use for dishwashing, but saw that and I thought I'd try that. I think the last Dollar Tree I showed you a round uh, Himalayan LED salt lamp, which puts off really good light. It takes like, it's either two or three AAA batteries. And then I saw this one. I thought this was really cute. And it is shaped like a um, shaped like a heart. So I got this. I thought it was really cute. Does it use? Uh, let me see what the batteries should be the same. Oh, maybe not. Let me see. Oh. Well, I'm not sure. It doesn't say battery. This says it is. I should have known. Had to be something complicated. I didn't know what I was getting. Oh, God. This is a USB. Hmm. We'll have to figure out how to use this. It comes with a little wood base as well. It's a heart shaped. I thought that was really cute. But it is, um, does not have batteries. It is USB powered. Indoor use only. So I have to figure out. Okay, well, I'll get my daughter to help me figure this out. I thought it was battery operated. That's what you get when you don't read completely. But it's by USB. But it's cute anyway. I got me another lighter. I sometimes get the long ones like this, or sometimes I get the shorter, shorter ones. You can always use that. And then in the makeup section, I got the um, eyeliner. This is the kind that you just twist and it rolls up. You don't have to have a sharpener. I got one of those. I got some latex gloves. The six come in this pack. So you can always use that. This is a three pack of two gel Cap caplets in each packet of the etc. and migraine. Thank goodness I don't have migraines, but my niece does sometimes, and she says that this really does work. This is a repeat buy. This is by Elf, and this is the um the Shape and Stay eyebrow pencil. This is really good. So whenever I see this, I pick up one. This is something new. I haven't used it in the first time I've seen it. And this is, uh, I don't even know how you pronounce this. G-U-A Gua Sha Massager. So it shows you, you put on your regular moisturizing lotion. And then after you put it on, then you take this little massager and go up your cheek on either side. And then you go down your neck. So it's supposed to be a massage into tone. So let's take it out and see if we can actually see what it looks like. So it is just a stone. And so you use this side here to go up on your cheeks and then you turn it over and for your neck, this According to the picture, you go down your neck. And this is after you put your moisturizer or cream on. And then you do that for the massager. So, let's 
thing. And it feels like a, looks like a, it feels like a marble stone. It's really, it's cold. So, I'll say that's what it says. It's like, it's a lightly massager. For your forehead, your chin, your nose, your cheeks. And that's after you put on your moisturizer. I think I got a couple of more bags. So this is granola. I like to put this in yogurt or you can put it in oatmeal. I mean, you can eat it with peanut butter, I mean, with anything. And it's by Sunbest Natural Gr Granola Clusters. And they had them on uh, clearance for 25 cents. And you can, it's resealable. So once you open it, it has a resealable pouch to it. And these do not expire until... Um, November of, oh, where is it? I think it's, it's November of 2023. No, January 2023. So I thought that was pretty good. Again, another item for your, um, go bag. So for 25 cents, I got four of them. I believe that is, yeah, I believe that's all. That is all. So, um, thank you everyone for coming back. Thank you for subscribing. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and like the video. Um, again, let me know in the comments what you thought about the, um, clay and the wood pieces of jewelry. I'd appreciate to know what you thought about it. Um, Thanks again for coming back. As I said, it was a short haul. I appreciate uh, you coming. Hopefully you saw something that you liked and you enjoyed what I showed you. So until next time, as I always say, please be kind to one another. We all have to live in this world together. Please pray for the people in Ukraine um, and just pray for the world in general. Uh, appreciate you all. Thanks again. And until next time, bye guys.